Resolution, what is it? Hello film worlders, it's me your host Micah Pendleton and welcome to Premiere Prep. Today we're answering the question of resolution. What is it, how much do you need, and what does it take to work with it? Before you know what resolution is, you need to understand the basics of digital video. So what is video? Video is nothing more than a series of images in a sequence being flashed on screen one at a time at such a speed that it gives the illusion of movement. Within each second you're seeing anywhere from 24 to 30 frames per second, depending on your frame rate, which is a future episode. But how are we seeing these images? This is where we start getting into resolution. You see, images are made up of something called pixels, and I'm not talking about the movie. No. Pixels are all the little squares that make up an image. Images that are made up of pixels are called roster graphics. For instance, watch what happens when I zoom in real far on this video. See all the different colored squares? At this state, it looks, well, like nothing really, but as I zoom out, the image becomes clear. And in short, resolution is the number of pixels that an image is made up of, like this video, which is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels, to create a total of 2,073,600 pixels, which equals roughly 2 megapixels, which doesn't sound like much compared to photography standards, where it's not uncommon to find 20 plus megapixels, but some consider 1080p to be plenty for video. But we'll get back to pixel counts in a minute. First, let's talk about how we create these pixels, starting with the digital image sensor. I won't be going deep into the history and science of digital image sensors, but I will link you to a fantastic video by Filmmaker IQ, which you can find here. And a link is in the description as well. But in short, these sensors have a bunch of individual data points where they receive light rays, which then gets turned into electronic signals and gets sent to the processor and turned into a visible image. That's about as brief and non-sciencey a description as you can get. So now let's talk numbers. The first standardized resolution you'll come across is SD, or standard definition. This resolution has a horizontal pixel count of 640 pixels and a vertical pixel count of 480 pixels for a grand total of 307,200 pixels at a four by three aspect ratio, which is 0 0.3 megapixels. Luckily today, very few things actually use standard definition anymore, like some live online video streaming and some TV broadcast and DVDs. Most cameras still have a standard definition setting, but nobody uses it. Not to mention, standard def is just ugly. Even at good quality, the images are muddy and or pixelated. So let's get out of the 90s and start talking about something far better, the HD line. Starting off with the baby of the group, HD or 720p. HD or high definition has a horizontal pixel count of 1,280 pixels and a vertical pixel count of 720 pixels for an improved 921,600 pixels at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And do note that that is three times exactly the number of pixels in standard definition. 720p is far better than standard def, but it can still seem a little pixelated at times, especially on larger displays. Now let's get into what has reigned king for quite some time now, and that is Full HD, or 1080p. Full HD, or Full High Definition, has a horizontal pixel count of 1920 pixels and a vertical pixel count of 1080 pixels for an even better total of 2,073,600 pixels and that is equal to 2 megapixels and it's still a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. For a little while now this has been the standard resolution if you will. Most videos being uploaded to YouTube are 1080p to include film world, and most video cameras still max out at 1080p, and Blu-rays are 1080p as well, but there's an even bigger resolution that's coming along to threaten 1080p's dominance, and that is UHD, or 4K. 
UHD, or ultra high definition, has a horizontal pixel count of 3,840 pixels and a vertical pixel count of 2,160 pixels. And its pixel total is a whopping 8,294,400 pixels. That's over 8 megapixels. It's huge! Four times the size of full HD. And if you add a 256 pixels to the horizontal axis, you get the slightly wider Cinema UHD. So those are the numbers, and I know it sounds like a lot, and it is, but resolution isn't everything. You need a good camera to shoot it on. Many people, me included, will argue that image quality is more important than resolution. But in the words of Tony Stark, is it too much to ask for both? The answer is no. There are many great cameras on the market that shoot at high resolutions and deliver a fantastic picture. But how much will it cost you? Well, the cameras I'm about to show you are the ones that I think are probably the best between price and image quality. For 1080p, the Canon T6i. This camera comes in at $749 on Amazon with an 18-55mm to kit lens. I shoot this show on the Canon T3i, the predecessor to the T6i, and it does a great job. And with a better lens, you can improve the picture even more. Now let's take a look at a great starter camera for 4K, and that is the Panasonic G7. The G7 sells on Amazon brand new for $698 with a 14-42mm to kit lens. I know what you're thinking right now, it's cheaper than the 1080p option? I know, crazy right? This is just a fantastic looking camera and a fantastic deal, but do keep in mind 4K files are huge and take a lot to process, so the workstation you have right now might do fine for 1080p, but you're probably going to need a more powerful machine for 4K. Not to mention, more hard drive space. I've mentioned all these resolutions and you now know the numbers, but how do these resolutions compare in size? I made this chart a while ago and it's amazing to see just how much bigger the resolutions have got over the past few years. I mean, Ultra HD is 27 times the size of standard definition and four times the size of Full HD. And now there's a new resolution starting to come around, 8K. And of course, there's all those odd resolutions like 4.6K and 5K and 6K. So when are we gonna stop getting more resolution? Well, I sure don't know, but I do think that day will come at some point. All right, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked it, definitely share it. I'm your host, Micah Pendleton. Remember, dream big, pay small. I'll catch you next time.